We are in what's called the temperate rainforest. It's a distinct biome. It's a distinct, mm -hmm. distinct forest formation. Mm -hmm. um, it has very, it's characterized by very tall trees, uh, by a lot of rainfall. This, this forest gets over 128 inches of rain per year, mostly concentrated in the winter months rather than the summer. Um, there are four major river systems that run through this rainforest. We're at the Quinault River, mm -hmm. um, and it's characterized by a very rich population community of, of epiphytes, plants that grow on other trees. Mm -hmm. And um, we are in the Quinault watershed, so uh, the, the, the Quinault River runs through this. It's within the Olympic National Park, so it's entirely protected. It has the highest protection status of any other land type in the United States. It's a really special forest, but it's out here on the Olympic Peninsula, way on the northwesternmost tip of the United States. So mm -hmm. it has a really, I don't know, sequestered or special feel to it and kind of a mysterious look. And I think part of that is because of these mosses that just drip from the branches. Mm -hmm. We're going to climb my favorite species of all, the big leaf maple. Scientific name is Acer, which means maple, mm -hmm. macrophyllum, which means big leaf. Mm -hmm. And um, these trees do have huge maple-like palmate form, palm form. That's the, you know, the Canadian flag. That's a maple leaf. It's got a very wide range. It grows from Northern California all the way up into British Columbia. And it seems to be the most preferred host for these, these mosses and lichens. Um, it's this tree species that, that carries the heaviest load of these epiphytes, these these mosses. So you get tremendous diversity in the canopy, something you don't see on the forest floor. You know, there are five or six species of trees, mm -hmm. but as many as 40 to 60 species of moss just on one tree alone. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons we find the canopy so fascinating here is that all the biodiversity, pretty much all the biodiversity is up in the, up in the treetops. Mm -hmm. In fact, we hear some, I hear some up here in the canopy. So that's another thing about working in the canopy that you sometimes can perceive wildlife, especially birds high up in the treetops that you're not hearing on the forest floor. Uh -huh. And another difference, we're not getting any mosquitoes up here. You guys down on the forest floor are. And so every time I climb a tree, I feel like I am helping to learn to the fullest possible extent these amazing beings that are trees and and there are still answers to be found there are still questions to be posed and the canopy at least is a place where where that is very evident where that is very accessible and the higher we climb the more trees we climb um, the more chances we have of, of fulfilling that dream of every scientist which is to know to the fullest possible extent <laughs> 